Good morning. I'm gonna look at my head right. I have to ask myself that frequently. Why is every part of me breathtaking? But my hair is a punchline. I have to ask myself that question. I'm up in here contemplating trying to open a club. I'm going to see if I can do some research on getting some grants <clears throat> and doing a fundraiser. And see if I can open up open up a uh, club locally. That way I could be open in the evening time and sit in my office and do other things in the daytime. Such as writing. I was sitting here thinking about you know, as when you get into something, you, you want to be critical. And I, I, I guess I'm critical. My mama used to say that I'm, I'm a very critical person. But I'm looking at something that was put out recently. I'm looking at how stupid some people are. I could not to take a few moments in the day and collaborate with somebody who have experience and knowledge you know what I'm saying? As if, as if it's gonna hurt them to say, you know, I met, you know, I met Thomas Jones, the the highly decorated uh, entertainer and producer, and we had lunch, and he shared with me his secret. You know, I remember one time Mike Tyson shared his secret. To win it a match to to his KO, he shared it. He did. I'm not gonna say it because people may not remember what he said. But he said it. He shared his secret to to his KO punch. And every time I, every time something happens, I think about that. Now I don't go around trying to fight because it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. But every time I I think about that, you know what I'm saying? How many people want to know that secret? How many people want to know that secret? You know what I'm saying? But I, I, this person so, so throw off. You know what I'm saying? That I could actually remake and rewrite that whole movie. Listen to what I'm saying. I can remake and rewrite it. And a fool wouldn't even know it's his movie. A fool wouldn't even know it's his movie. Yes, I could. What could I call it? I'm trying to see what I could call it. I could call it, I don't know what I call it, tell it to the judge. That's what I call it, tell it to the judge. I don't know what I call it. That's a suit, this motherfucker. Why not make... Because you already have an icon in the movie. Why not make her the main character? She vulnerable. How many old women we know fall for that shit? An old woman always falling for that shit. That's some dirty shit to do to an old woman. Why not make her the main character? Then, when you get a public defender, they'll have a reason to work on this injustice. You see what I'm saying? Let me don't let an old lady lose her life after she done fought a bitch that tried to steal her retirement money. She supposed to kill this motherfucker. And that's what I get up and say. Your Honor, she was supposed to kill this. Judge and jury and Your Honor. She was supposed to kill this motherfucker for, for trying to fuck up her retirement. It's her, it's her God given right to put his ass in hell. I rest my case. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I, I know I'm very critical. I have I always do that when I'm looking at a movie. I was looking at um Jurassic Park at the hotel the other day. And these motherfuckers finna be eating alive. And they start having friendly banter. 
I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that? But it's a, it's a, it's a very um, lucrative franchise. I think people just like the special effects and the science fiction portion of the movie. Did they not listen to the dialogue? You know what I'm saying? But, but what, what if we change it around and make that young woman the, the character? The, the killer. You see what I'm saying? Is she the killer? There's no way in the world the public defender would say this young woman gonna lose her entire life. She facing life. This beautiful young woman with the whole world at her feet. The world is so awesome. She could accomplish anything she could dream of. She's about to, she facing life or even the death penalty. Over a piece of shit that stole and conned her. You see what I'm saying? She now a young woman, she gonna serve some time. But, but but you know, as a public defender, you probably could get that reduced to she might serve three years on manslaughter as opposed to life for, for third degree murder. You see what I'm saying? This the shit this shit is stupid, this motherfucker. Then then I really I'm miss out miss out on every time. What the fuck is the purpose? What am I t- is this real? Is this motherfucker for real? Say, say they made this shit in five days. Say they made that shit in five fucking days. Motherfucker, are you for real? With your big ugly ass. When I was in, I always wondered why that bitch. In a city like Atlanta, why you don't have nobody? Bitches begging on their knees. Begging. And he don't have nobody. Big stupid ugly ass crazy person. I'm finna wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna I have never made a movie, so I really can't say, you know, I really can't say this, but but I would the first thing I would do if the opportunity presented itself, if I if it were possible, I go ask XYZ for lunch. I would. You are a critically acclaimed director. Who? Quinn Tarantino. Mel Gibson, uh, Stephen, Stephen, uh, who, who is this man? I can't think of this man. All these critically acclaimed people. You know, how I'm an up and coming person. I, I just know how to write screenplays. I know you probably don't consort with the basic people, but if there's any way that we can meet, I would love some advice. And miss on every turn. This woman, is breathtaking young black woman. Can you imagine if they would have put a love scene where he had this bitch head all the way gone? This you ever seen a bitch and her head was all the way gone? Even her mama can't say shit to her. You ever seen that? I seen her. I seen a bitch like that. I seen we not seen a bitch like that. Even mama go head on and be nice. All right, babe. Okay, baby. Even mama can't say shit. You imagine a love scene. He missed that. Missed every, every turn. He missed. He missed out on a blockbuster. He could have had this bitch as the killer. As the victim here. Right. Facing life. Losing her. Losing. She got the world as her oyster. Facing life. You know what I'm saying? A love scene out this world. You see what I'm saying? Well, what kind of love scene would you put put into? I'm going to wrap this shit up because I'm talking about other people too much. But I'm just saying. This is how this motherfucker. I could remake that shit. Change the people around. Call it. Tell it to the judge. And the motherfucker so stupid he wouldn't even know it. Now, I'm not going to do that. Not, not no time soon. It would be funny if I had the resources to do it. That should be hilarious if I had the resources to do that. Then the bitch would try to kill me if I win a war. If I win a war, then the motherfucker try to kill me. But, but I don't have the time to do that because um, I, I'm working on writing something. And hopefully it goes as I would hope. And and the, what I want to do is I have a little horror a little horror movie. I don't even know you call it a horror suspense thriller. I'm going to call it a suspense thriller. It's not really horror. I'm not into blood and gore. You know, it's scaring the fuck out of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not into that. But I have a little suspense through that I've been I've been hoping to do. So it's nothing. It's nothing I can just 
go and do just to prove a point. But I'm just looking at this bullshit. They need to interview on this motherfucker. Over this bullshit. You said you should have said this. I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving. But anyway, I'm sitting here up in this apartment. I just took the shower. I'm taking numerous showers. I'm starting to feel like it's only a placebo effect taking bath, but praise God, I'm going to keep doing it. It's the only thing that's working for me that I know of. And praying, and praying, praise God, and praying. And praying. But I have to get up here. I'm going to take me a, a little nap tomorrow. I'm going to finish praying. Then I'm going to take me a little nap tomorrow. And, oh. Uh, I'm going to take me a little nap tomorrow and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to score and see if I can give me a little checklist on how to, uh, I can't think of the name of that, that place used to be around the corner, but it's, it's vacant now. I don't know if it used to be Padres or something. Anyway. I'm gonna go see if I can be. It can't be that expensive, cause I always been the golf forgiveness. I always been a black club, so hopefully it's not that expensive. 